hold on here till that bouncer's gone. Are you all right? What happened? I suppose we're there for her. Yeah. Yeah. Zara, has Daniel told you that we're having a little appeal for Bren's funeral? He did mention it, yes. He has been very generous. Generous? That, that was from both of us. <laughs> the cake was lovely, by the way. Getting the kind of news you did earlier can be hard. It's bound to leave. Yes, thank you, dear. How did William take the news? Where is he? Is he here? Uh, he's gone out. Are you okay? Where's your kitchen? Why don't... Tea bags. That is a lot of notes. Uh, no, not particularly. So why does he need them? Oh. One out. Oh. What? On the steps and oh, his wretched newspaper. Slow down and try and tell me what happened. Enough. Told him. Didn't care. I, I don't understand. They're just doing some tests. He'll be back soon. Funny. For once, his not speaking's a good thing. How do you mean? Well, he's not said anything to the doctors. I'm used to it, of course. It's pride. Pride's no excuse. How have you lived together for ten years? Oh. The post-it notes. After a while, you start thinking it's normal. Matters, Irene. You matter. <laughs> Irene. A latte, please. Of course, madam. I don't know if I can afford a coffee now. The price of the parking. <sighs> I'm lucky. I came by ambulance. It, it wasn't for me, it was for my husband. Mm -hmm. But I know what you mean. I have to come here for my um, rheumatoid arthritis and uh, it cost me a fortune. I followed an ambulance in too. I've been driving around the side streets trying to find somewhere for free, but it's round. That'll be two pounds, thank you. An Americano and a bottle of water, please. One moment, please. Probably all the doctors grab free spots. <laughs> They're about you, aren't they? All that money and too tight to pay. <laughs> That'll be four pound twenty. Um, Teviot Ward, they said on the desk. Thank you. I'm going that way too. Um, <sighs> thanks. So I hope your other half is okay. You too. This is me. No, <laughs> my Dave's in here. You're Dave. Janice. I can explain what it was. What... I don't want to hear it, you two-timing rat. He told me he was single. I should have known. Sneaking out of work for lunch round the corner, but never for dinner, was it? Always coming on. Oh, no. Sorry to be leaving you with him. 